Core values are not just words that are plastered on a wall. It truly is embodied in every single interaction, every single patient, and every single caregiver, every single day. Everyone at Providence Holy Cross is passionate about providing the best care possible for our patients and fulfilling the mission of Providence to help all those in need, regardless of their means. We see every patient that walks in our door, no matter how vulnerable, we don't turn them away. It's our culture, it's ingrained in each one of us. There's a difference between fixing someone physically and I think really truly healing somebody in the largest sense of the word. I had crushed the left side of my body, so I'd broken my ribs on my left side except for one, and I really came to appreciate how incredibly important it is to have people around you to support you at a human level, at an emotional level. It's that community feel and the togetherness that really makes a big difference in, in how we take care of our patients. So over the last few years, we are starting to feel the growth of the community in the hospital. I'm very fortunate as an emergency room doctor to get to treat everyone regardless of their access to health care. We're seeing more and more patients every single day. Holy Cross takes care of a disproportionate share of poor and vulnerable people. So we don't get the reimbursements that some of our sister ministries get. Practices are changing. We're learning more and more new things about the brain and the nervous system. Uh, it seems like every day. We're now using newer, less invasive approaches for spinal surgery. That uh, is you know, really exciting stuff. I have witnessed some remarkable miracles at the bedside. Equipment can be very expensive in these specialized areas. Tools that help our artists do their work and have absolutely contributed to better outcomes because of it. Because our community is in need, our donors have been able to fund this comfort care suite, which is a huge component, providing the extra layer of support that these patients deserve. Unfortunately, I've lost my husband about five years ago. We were looking for a place that we would do some charitable work. We went to Providence Holy Cross. It's just the feeling you get when you're there. It's very warm. The people that work there are devoted to whoever is, is at the hospital. And we just found it to be a wonderful, wonderful place. We have had donors give us money so that we can care for some of the smallest, most vulnerable patients in our neonatal ICU. I got pregnant with twins. One of the babies had to spend some time in the NICU because she inhaled some fluid. It was comforting knowing that they were there to look after her when I couldn't. The patient is the center of every one of our decisions. We're constantly trying to improve ourselves in the hospital. Even though a bed may sound like a bed, it really makes a, a large impact in terms of multiple levels of the care aspect of the entire hospital stay. So that we don't have to worry about the equipment needs, the beds, the IVs, that we can stay focused on what's truly important, which is the patient. Support from friends like you contributes to our success in so many important ways. And we are very grateful for your generosity.